welcome to an update on how I'm doing via my book. Um, I haven't really gotten to work on my sequel very much, but I've been working a lot on my prequel and have just over 5,000 words on it now. So that is going great. It's up to over 10 pages now. So it's kind of awesome. Full size pages, not book size pages. Um, 10 pages full size equals about three pages. No, three. 30. 30 pages um, in a book. So I'm hoping to get about 70 to 90 pages, which will be an almost 200 page book. It, on to today's challenge. Try to figure out if this is the sequel or the prequel. He was, Yemen was also sure that the king would never let it be known that his daughter Deborah's children were Yemen's as well. King Zonian had been so mad when Princess Deborah had snuck off to marry a pilot that she had fallen in love with. So mad that he had told everybody that the princess had married a prince from a far off land who had then died, leaving her pregnant and a widow. The king had also forced Naaman to sign the papers giving all of his rights to the children up and had barely allowed Naaman to continue his position as the princess's pilot. He remembered back to the first time he had met Princess Deborah. And who is this? Naaman heard the sweet voice say as he bowed. He didn't want to screw this job up. He had worked long and hard for the recommendation to be a royal pilot and he had gone to training sessions for five long years. He was 25 now, and he had given his whole life to his career. This is Pilot Nehman, Princess Deborah. Nehman recognized the voice as Mycia's. Mycia was a good friend and had helped him get this job of a lifetime. Is he any good? Princess Deborah said speculatively. The last idiot that you hired couldn't fly a sh ship straight for all the gold in my father's kingdom. Yes, Princess, I do regret hiring Worcester. He is doing better at flying now that you have demoted him to flying the garbage detail. This man will be better, I'm sure. He has gone to flight school for five years, and then he has worked various high-intensity flight jobs for nine years now. My CEO motioned for Nehman to stand up straight in the army-style way one does as they are being interviewed. Nehman kept his eyes straight ahead, even though he wanted to study this arrogant girl. Define high intensity, Princess Deborah spat out as she looked a new pilot over. Racing for three years, bond placement for mining for four years, and spy detail for your father for two years. And why, Nehman, did you quit being a spy for my father after only two years? Princess Deborah finally addressed him. I quit after only two years because I shot down an enemy satellite that ended up being a massive bomb. I was injured and put on inactive duty by my physician. I was told that I couldn't fly again as a spy for three years, Naaman finally replied. You don't look injured. The princess's tone was as cold as ice. Politically injured, princess, if your father was to allow me to continue being a spy, he would have to admit to the enemy that he had blown this satellite up which would have caused a war. Instead, I merely got sent away. So you lost a job in exchange for not starting a war with the Nathaniums? With honor, ma'am, Naaman said proudly. Do you want to take a ride and see for yourself how good a pilot I am? Sure, but I must warn you, I'm a pretty good pilot myself, and I wouldn't be flying my own ship if my father hadn't taken that ride away when I turned 12. He says it's not proper for a young lady to fly her own ship. If you can't handle the ship, you will not be getting this job. I understand. Let's go, Nehman said brightly. He had no intention of letting this pompous 16-year-old scare him, even if she was a princess. And that is all for today. Give me a guess if you think it is number one or number two. And let me know what you think in the comments below.